Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Diane Daniels. Super Bowl Sunday is almost upon us. Plenty of game watchers are going to head out to the bars and to parties tomorrow. So for law enforcement, drunk driving is a big concern. And Michiana police are stepping up their enforcement. WSBT 22's Hillary Powell joins us now live here in the studio with more on an ambitious effort to make sure people are sober behind the wheel. Hillary? Yeah, Diane, it's a national push to make the legal limit of .08 for blood alcohol levels even lower. And it could have a big impact on what happens on the road. This weekend, Carolina Blue is all over the Irish area. Go Heels! Go Heels! You may not know what your Super Bowl plans are, but local police are already planning to try and make sure the celebration is safe. Free parties, Super Bowl parties, after parties. So, and we know that there, you know, some of our residents are going to go, our citizens are going to go to the bars. More local law enforcement officers are behind the wheel working overtime this weekend to keep drunk drivers off the road. The current blood alcohol limit is .08, but leaders with the National Transportation Safety Board say they want to see that limit made even more strict, move down to .05. It's their priority for 2016. Mishawaka Police Lieutenant Tim Williams is all for it. We want our, our children and our families to wake up, you know, tomorrow and on Monday morning to say, hey, we can remember this 50th anniversary for the Super Bowl in a positive way instead of a negative way. Last year in Super Bowl weekend, nearly a fifth of traffic crashes in Indiana were alcohol related. Some fans say lowering the legal limit will require more driving alternatives. If they did try to drop the blood alcohol, blood alcohol level down to 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.08, that they would try to combat it with a more safe driving programs or like Uber and stuff like that to make it more of an option for people to practice safe driving and especially if it's going to be a lowered alcohol level. William says any reduction in the limit will see results. When they dropped it from 0.10 to 0.08, we saved thousands of lives. Not just a few, thousands of lives. So, and I think lives are really, really valuable. Now, police agencies from throughout our viewing area are stepping up dri drunk driving enforcement through early Monday morning, and they're working overtime this weekend. They call the campaign Fans Don't Let Fans Drive Drunk. Last year, Hoosiers made it through Super Bowl weekend with no drunk driving fatalities, and Diane, that is the goal police want to see repeated this year.